Hey y'all and welcome to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be on our first year of homeschooling, how it went and the curriculums that we used and uh, basically that we're ditching and the ones that we tried out towards the end of the year because some weren't working um, and then some were better than others. So stick around if you want to hear all about that. So this year was our very first year homeschooling. I have three kids. Azariah, who is 11, and he just finished his fifth grade year. Brooke, who is nine, she just finished her third grade year. And my youngest, Ronan, he's seven, and he just finished his first grade year of school. Uh, prior to homeschooling, my kids attended a Christian school uh, for the last five years. And then we decided um, this last year that we wanted to homeschool. Pretty much, uh, we were kind of over being on school schedule. <laughs> we uh, take pride and value our family time and decided that we want to be able to be on our own schedule and go when, we're, when we want. And so that's ultimately what brought us to homeschooling. I live in California. Here in California, there's a few ways you can homeschool. You can, of course, do it on your own and be independent. Um, California also offers, in a lot of areas, they offer homeschooling through charter schools, which is public school ran. Um, and that is how we chose to do it for our very first year. It kind of makes it easy in the sense that you have guidance. We have a teacher that is over us, so she's able to help us in the areas where we're uncertain, um, as well as it provides the funds for all of your curriculum needs and school supplies. That was very nice. Um, the negative to it, however, is that you are unable to use any faith-based curriculum, which that would have been my preference, um, but I didn't have that option unless I wanted to come out of pocket and pay it, which is totally an option to do as well. Um, I'm just, we chose to stick with the curriculum that was offered by our charter school. Time for Learning had decent reviews. Uh, the thing that I liked most that I was hearing about it was that it enables your child to be a little more independent um, on working alone, which for the mamas who have multiple children that they're homeschooling understand the importance of needing your children to work independently at times when you are needed to help another child with their school. So in my head, I'm thinking that's great. We can do this curriculum and they're able to work on parts of it by themselves when I'm needed in other areas. So we went ahead and chose to do time for learning. Now time for learning covers all four main subjects. So English, math, history, and science are offered at your child's grade level. So all three of my children started with all four main subjects through Time for Learning. For my oldest, Azariah, which a little bit about him when it comes to school, he is very smart, um, but he's also a very busybody, can't sit still, um, gets bored very easily. He's also a fast worker, so even previous to homeschool when he was still in school, he would be very quick to finish his work ahead of the class and God bless his teachers, um, had to find ways to keep him busy and occupied while waiting for others to finish. Um, so that was something with Azariah that I had to be aware of going into homeschooling was to learn how teachers handle children that are like that. Um, so he did not take the time for learning very well. We stuck with it for a few months for him. Um, but his um, attention, attention span just could not handle the video lessons super well because he would get bored or distracted and um, was unable to really uh, learn the concepts that were presented in the videos. And because of that, when it came to actually doing the work, he kind of struggled a little bit. So that was something that he stuck with for a little bit and then we had to change it for him 
just purely based off of his attention span. All my kids are very different from each other. Um, so he was the one that I really thought he online is not going to work for him. Um, we're going to have to switch to a book style curriculum, which is what we did. And I'll go over that in just a second. For my daughter, Brooke, she did fine for the most part with time for learning. Um, but it did get a bit repetitive about halfway through the school year. She was pretty much over it as well, sitting through what she felt like was the same videos, the same characters all the time. And um, it actually created a bit of a frustration in her once we sat down to start school. She was just over it. So um, probably about the t right before Christmas break, we realized we're going to have to switch her over to a book curriculum as well. Um, and then for my son, Ronan, who in the, was in the first grade, it worked just fine for him for the most part. He actually stuck with the curriculum for the entire school year, and he was progressing very well. He was paying attention to the videos. He actually liked watching the videos for the most part. He was picking up all the concepts when it came to doing the actual um, problems from his lessons. He was doing very well on them. The only thing with him that was a struggle was because he is in the first grade and he's at that point where he's learning writing skills and reading skills and all of those very important skills that they learned so early on, those were starting to slip a little bit from him. Writing, his writing became very poor. Um, he would hear certain letters and numbers and could not remember what they looked like um, purely because he wasn't writing them all the time so his brain was forgetting what that number looked like I would tell him you know Ronan I need you to write a two and he was like wait what does that look like again and so that is where I became hesitant to the online that had really not not much to do with time for learning but purely for online curriculum um, he's not getting all that practicing. Now, we were doing supplemental books um, for his reading and his spelling. He was using some of those books, but it wasn't on a regular basis. Like when you're doing math and English all the time, you're doing it every day. He wasn't getting that everyday practice in of writing his letters and his numbers. And I started to see the effects of that um, towards the second half of the school year. So we really had to add extra stuff in to make sure he was getting those practices in. So that was really the only struggle we had with online curriculum for my first grader. So after learning that time for learning was not going to work for us, um, I had to figure something else. So it was pretty easy to figure out the math that I was going to the use. Math is a fantastic math. My kids had done it before um, when COVID happened and we had we pulled them out for a small period to homeschool. We did do Saxon math during that time. So that was an easy switch over for me. I had a lot of knowledge about it. Now Saxon math offers different um, like different styles of curriculum, I guess you could say. I went ahead and went with this is more of a classroom style curriculum that they offer and the reason for this is um, because I have three kids and they're all going to be coming up and I figured I'm going to get classroom style this way we have the books for the following grades when my younger ones get to that grade and we'll just keep going right because then they can just do all their work on notebook paper so I have paper here um, this is Azariah's book. This is the fifth grade math book, and it is very much like, um, you know, when you're in school, it's the, the setup of it is classroom style, um, and my kids would just get a piece of notebook paper, number it, and then go through and do the problems. This was, this is, like I said, the fifth grade book, and this is the third grade Saxon math book that we used. Um, so that's what we ended up switching with, and Azariah and Brooke both did Saxon math throughout the whole second semester of school, and it worked fantastic for them. So that was the math we used 
They also do offer um, regular homeschool books where you can actually do the work inside the book as well. Um, and you could totally choose that route. That's actually what we did prior um, during COVID. We used the homeschool style book. So they did all their work inside the book. Um, but I chose to go with these this last year. So that may change in the following years. I don't know. No. And then for English, um, we just used not really a curriculum. This was more of um, probably would be considered a supplement supplemental book um, but this is just spectrum language arts in fifth and third grade and these were fine they were great they got us through the end of the year and they um, were great I mean they were and did just what we needed them to do so the pages kind of like that each lesson um, and it was fine As for our history, we actually really never stuck with time for learning history, um, maybe a month or so. And then I really wanted a history that my kids could do together, that we could all do together. And so I chose um, from Beautiful Feet, their California history. It's around California with children books is what it is. And this one's really, really great. It's awesome because you order it and it just comes with a whole assortment of books. Um, and then it goes through the lesson and each lesson does, there's a lesson, but then it also will refer you to the book that goes along with the lesson that came with the whole set. I kid you not, I think the whole set probably came with I don't know 20 books or so um, and it was really cool it it's all about California the gold rush the Indians the the foods that are um, part of California culture there's even recipes in here that you can make with your kids in some of the lessons and so it was a really cool history um, curriculum I loved it it was very interactive it was very different because it's not just a textbook that you just read through there was a lot of pulling from different sources my kids loved it because there's even a dr. Seuss book that came with it about prehistoric times and so it was great I, I thoroughly enjoyed this curriculum and I was really pleased that we went with it and then for science, we just went with 180 days of science. This just came straight off of Amazon. Um, for my kids, I wanted them to be able to do something together. So for history and science, I like taking advantage of trying to do more of a family style um, curriculum. They're missing out on that uh, classroom experience with other kids around them. So for them to be able to do something together instead of doing all their subjects independently. It's nice to have a science and a history that we can do all together. And this is just, was really great. It has experiments in it that you can do. Um, we didn't even write in it. I had them all do their own work on separate pieces of paper. So we may go with this next year. Um, I'm not sure yet. I've been looking and reading at so many curriculums and uh, so I haven't quite figured out yet what we're going to go with. Um, and then I just pulled a couple, but this was something that we didn't start till the second semester. And honestly, I wish I had found something similar to this before. I loved it. I ended up ordering so many of the Evan Moore um, books. They're all supplemental. There's so many. And writing spelling I mean you can do English math science drawing whatever so I found these two books well there's two but it's the same <laughs> um, and I got Brooke one and I got Azariah one and they're so cool because it's a draw and write and so I'll show you what one of them looks like let's see so what it does is it gives you, um, it's like three pages per lesson, 
Um, and it goes through and shows you, like this one's on a dock. So it goes through and it shows you how to draw. Oops, I think that's the wrong page. There we go. It goes through and shows you how to draw a dog. There's my daughter's dog. <laughs> she drew. And then on the next page, you can draw another picture of a dog however you want it or not. Obviously, she didn't. But then you're drawing a picture and you're making up your own story about the picture of your dog. And so this was great because um, not only are they learning how to draw, but it gives them a chance um, to write their own stories. And so like the next one was a horse. And my daughter loves horses. And she wrote a story about her horse, which apparently was injured. <laughs> um, and then as I had the same book, I had them do the same thing. I mean, they did the same. So he has his, and I loved his stories because his are usually like fighting with dragons. And he drew, I guess, dog man. I don't know. And then I was trying to show his, I think they did a cowboy one. There's a, like an alien or a zombie. But it also is really cool because they, yeah, there's this cowboy. Because it also gives you a chance to see your kids draw the same things, but then come up with their own stories. And their imaginations are so different from each other. So that was really fun for me to sit and look at their drawings and read their stories and how they imagined so differently. And then Ronin's was a little bit different, but his was fitting for his age. This one is Evermore um, language. And this one was basically the same thing, a draw and write, but his would give a word, so like cat, and it would he would have to practice his writing, the word, and then it taught him how to draw a cat, so he would draw his own picture. Now his isn't writing stories yet. Um, he didn't make it that far, but this was his version of the book that he did. So those are really great. And I, I didn't bring them all in here, but I have a whole shelf full of Evan Moore books and they're all so differently. There's some called the big book of fun and it's just fun activities for them to do. Um, so, you know, <clears throat> if one of them, <clears throat> excuse me, if one of them got done with the math or two of them got done with math and one was still working on their math, I would have them go grab, you know, their big book of fun, open it, and it would just give them something to do until the other finished. Then we moved on to the ne next subject. So I liked keeping a lot of these on hand that we could just pull from the shelf whenever we needed a little something extra. And that was always great to have. So that's most of the books that we used um, this last year. Aside from the curriculum we used, we took advantage of a couple of more sources right here on YouTube. One of them being Art for Kids Hub. My kids loved doing their art with this channel. It's so awesome and it helps teach them how to draw. If you haven't checked it out, I'm going to leave the link in the description box so you can click on it. Your children will love it. Also, throughout the year, we were learning about our U.S. presidents and all the states in our country. Um, there's a few cool sources on YouTube. One was History Heroes and one's called Homeschool Pop and they do videos on each president or state and you can check those out if you want to go through with your children to learn about our country. It was also a very great source to have. So I will also leave the link to both of those YouTube channels down in my description box as well. I'm still going through to figure out what curriculum we will be using for the following year. So I am going to make a video once we have settled on our curriculum about that. So if you are interested in what curriculum we're going to switch to, because it's probably all going to be a bit different, um, you'll have to wait and check out my next video. Thanks for hanging out with me and sticking around through all of this. I hope you got something from it. If you have any curriculum, recommendations leave them down in the comment box because I would love to hear it we're just going into our second year so I'm still have so much to learn um, and I would love to hear your opinions and your thoughts and what's worked for you and what hasn't worked for you because if it hasn't worked for you, for you I don't know if I want to use my time <laughs> to use those things 
But I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Ah!